Final speaker, Hidea Yamada, uh, Vice President for Food, Agriculture and Nutrition of JICA. Please. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador Wright. Um, Wright. Um, when it comes to uh, the return of investment, I would like to uh, stress three important keys. They are already uh, discussed repeatedly this week in this building, but I think it's worth repeating. The first one is investment in agriculture and food system. Food is the source of uh, nutrition, and the food is produced by farmers. So investing in sustainable local agriculture and developing robust food system is the key. And I think the cold chain that uh, Mr. Junk mentioned is a part of the robust food system. The second is addressing malnutrition in early childhood. It is well known that uh, efficient and long-term benefit can be expected through intervention during uh, early childhood. So it's worth investing in babies and toddlers. The third key is multi-sectoral and multi-stakeholder uh, multi approach. We tend to uh, make a complaint about insufficient investment in uh, nutrition, but uh, as Mila and, and, and also uh, Maria mentioned, there is an investment in domestically. And nutrition relates to various t sectors such as health, sanitation, education, and agriculture. And there is be, uh, the investment is being made in each sector. So if we accumulate this investment, the total, is, total amount is not insufficient. So in this context, uh, we need to break down the silo mentality and make a holistic approach so that we, the return on investment will be multiplied and maximized. As an example of JICA's uh, action in the field, uh, let me briefly introduce two activities. One is, uh, one is for improving African people's uh, 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 in nutrition. It is called IFNA, I-F-N-A, which was initiated in 2016. The basic concept is to accumulate knowledge and resources and insights of multilateral and bilateral uh, cooperating, cooperating agencies, including FAO, WHO, World Bank, et cetera, et cetera, as well as the national government and national people. It is easier said than done, but we are at the first stage of in the field level cooperation operations in, in African countries, including Madagascar. The second uh, example of JICA's activities is for empowering small scale farmers, which is called SHEP, S-H-E-P. It is a technical cooperation program by JICA to promote market-oriented agriculture. The basic idea to change the mindset of the farmers from grow and sell to grow to sell. Grow to sell means that farmers think about selling before, before growing products. Farmers make a research on the market, and once farmers know the market, they grow food which consumers prefer, and that generates better income to farmers. So the basic concept is very simple, but it creates win-win situation. Those are the two examples. I have five more seconds. Final comment. <laughs> this chair is too high for stunted Asian people. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>